time now to head back to cabin country. <laughs> Allie and Natalie are live in Pequot Lakes for the Stars and Stripes Day celebration. Hello, ladies. Hey, Heather. Hi. Things just kicked off. We watched the setup. Now it's up and running, and the folks are starting to flock to the area. <laughs> Lots to do for the kids, adults as well. And this live music here has been really, really incredible so far. Great start to a Friday night. Now, we started our day climbing an old fire tower. And not only is it a great workout, it also has a great view. All right, it's a race, step by step. And we're getting a workout. Yeah, one, one down. <laughs> I'm getting a little out of breath, Natalie. <laughs> Heart rate has gone up. I'm excited for the view. Already. Okay. I'm not afraid of heights, which is good. It's getting a little, uh, little high. So pretty. Oh my, oh my gosh. Wow. That was worth it. Yeah. And the view was absolutely stunning. And that view that you're seeing was the Bobber Water Tower. It was built back in 1934. It's still used during wildfire season. And Natalie, we had a great workout going up there. We, we climbed did. eight flights of stairs. <laughs> it looked, okay, it looked a little higher than it was. It wasn't that hard to get up there, but it, it was worth the climb because you could just kind of see everything sprawling below you, especially this time of year. Beautiful green colors, and I, I bet in the fall it's gorgeous too. And also a great hike just getting up to the fire yeah, tower. Good point. But not about the fire tower. We yeah. have to talk about fireworks because it is the 4th of July. Of course, and if you're looking for some fireworks and you're in the area, we got a guy for you. His name is Ken. It is one that will just laugh. And when it's done, there ain't nothing there. My number one seller this year is like every year. My <laughs> number five. 75 bucks, huh? Yep. What is it? Just throw it out there on the concrete. On the concrete? Yep. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and for as small as it is, yeah. that is a big sellers that oh. one and it just goes and, and goes. it goes and goes and goes this is my number one seller this is a new one this year this has become my one of my number one sellers the pure fantasy was my number one seller for two years in a row you take it you light it throw it out there okay it snap crackles and pops that's what it does this is a special day for the kids, yeah, and it's a special day for the adults to treat their kids. Yeah. And I love kids. That's great. Words of wisdom from Ken, too. Ken does have 11 grandchildren, and he had so many fun stories to share with us about those kids. I can't imagine his fireworks display on 4th uh, yeah, of no July. Yeah, no kidding. That's a very good point. <laughs> so if you're looking to stop by Ken's and you live in the area, it's just a mile and a half east down Highway 16. Uh, just off of 371, so yeah, it's super close. It's really close. There's a big yellow sign, so if you're in the area, <laughs> definitely check it out. It's a small shop, so it's kind of nice to support them. Guys, and Natalie so loves can. the fireworks. Me, not so much. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I was like, should we shoot off some more? And I was like, I'm good. Let's go ahead and wrap that up. We've seen so many like wonderful people out there. So thanks to Ken and gosh, that yes. that view was just gorgeous from the tower. So nice work, ladies. It Fun was. to see all you've been up to. Thanks. thanks.